Hello, everyone. My name is Vito Mabruco, and we are here today with Professor Deguchi from the University of Kyoto. So, Professor Deguchi, perhaps you can introduce yourself. Yes, thank Tell you. Tell us a little bit about you. Thank you, Vito. Thank you. And, uh, so, I'm Yasuo Deguchi, I'm a professor of philosophy, Kyoto University, Japan. I've been working there for more than 20 years. So, let me start some basic idea or core idea of a philosophy. My favorite example, I use that many times, is riding a bicycle. Mm -hmm. Because I'm riding a bicycle on a Kyoto street every day mm -hmm. to go to university. Okay, what we need? Bicycle, it's well functioning, and road. Many people there, traffic system, social infrastructure, environment all around. environment, right. Right. air, gravitational field. All those things. They contribute. Yeah, contribute. Mm -hmm. And without that, I cannot simply mm -hmm. ride my bicycle alone. Mm -hmm. you, you bring up a concept which sometimes people confuse with this idea that, um, well, I can do everything by myself. I don't need any help. Yes. So and the idea of we coming into here, OK? And we cannot be we without I. If without I, we became something else. So even as an individual, mm -hmm. you can still be an individual, but be part of the we, yes. Yes, which helps achieve yes. riding the bike. Yes, of course, being supported, being helped, and being afforded by many members. And I am just one of them. Put together, we. And maybe for our audience, uh, you can maybe expand a little bit about what are those core foundations that build the self as we. Well, um, let me talk about some Buddhistic philosophy. Actually, there are many Buddhist philosophies, mm -hmm. like many Christian theologies. Right? And uh, one of them is called the tradition of Tathagata Garva. Tathagata maybe means Buddha. Garva is Ooh. Mm -hmm. So that is a womb of Buddha, something like that, a seed of Buddha. A seed of Buddha. Buddha right. okay. And uh, so what they try to reject or repudiate is individualistic self. And they look that kind of idea as a, source, a sort of a source of all illusion, delusion, and suffering. That's a conceptual construct that should be demolished. You talk about I and we, and, and one of the concepts that I've been reading that you talk about and that, uh, that we hear a lot about from our own CEO is about paraconsistency and non-dualism. And can you explain to us how non-dualism and this idea of self as we come together? OK, so let me go back to the Tathagata Baba idea. For them, uh, any distinction is just illusion, right? OK, and just if, uh, any distinction between me and you and I and the world, rest of the world, is just a conceptual construct. OK, that illusion. So, so this brings us back to self as we. Yeah. <laughs> so when we talk about self as we, we talk about how perhaps it can help us understand our environment and the world around us and how we can be an agent with other agents to create a better world. That, that's another very core cool idea of self. Yes, thank you for mentioning that. Mm -hmm. So I said, OK, in the case of a bicycle riding, so I cannot ride a bicycle uh, by myself alone. I need many agents in the world human, non-human, life, non-life. I cannot fully control my body. I, can, I cannot control my bicycle, even though I'm very carefully preparing and keeping it in the good conditions. I cannot control even my family, my dog, my neighbors, of course, other people's. So every agent is not under full control. So when you're riding a bike, you entrust that people follow the rules, that the road is, going to, is not going yes. to disappear, that you know, people aren't going to yes. run you over. Yes. So you, you have to, all of the agents around you that, that help you ride that yes. bike. That. And that entrustment uh, should go without any guarantee at all. So that whole system of agents which has come together to create that outcome is the we. And this is an important point because um, sometimes the word we and it gets lost in the English language is what do you mean by we? You don't just mean we the people, you mean we the system, we the agents, we everything that's entrusted. 
That's yes, that's a sort of a wider use of we, of yeah. course. And uh, so original use or proper use of, of we just embrace human beings. Right. But we can use we in a wider way. For example, right, yeah. Yeah. my horse, my right. dog, yeah. is a part of we, mm -hmm. my family, for example. Mm -hmm. And maybe so we can expand that we to some artifacts. So maybe in the near future, some robot, mm. AI, mm -hmm. if they are essential part of my living, that should be the very proto member of we. Mm -hmm. That's an important concept that we believe in yes. at NTT, yes. that we're trying to make sure when we develop technologies, yes. it's for, for the good mm. of, the, good. of okay. the system. Yes, good. Yeah. So yeah, I think that now good timing to go to the ethical dimension. Yes. Yes, because you mentioned goodness. That's right. quite ethical right. value word. Right. right. And I said, and we is very important. And I cannot live without we. We is a simply inescapable, unavoidable at all. But that doesn't mean that every we is a good. Mm. Some we are good, but some are not. Let me ask you that question. What makes a good we and what makes yes, a bad yes, we? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's a great question yes, to yes. ask you. And uh... If we close we in a very limited number of our people, just family, just relatives, just you know, village community, just you know, single nation state, and to the bad thing against outsider. That's quite bad we. So the more you expand the, the idea of self as we, the more people understand it, the less likely it can be abused. So my answer is that ferocity is a key issue for here. There's no you know, master, there's no slave, of course. There's no higher ranked, lower ranked. Of course, in the reality, we should make some... In, um, to make things work. Yeah, to make yeah. work. Yeah. We need some sort of a social system, right. hierarchical system, right. if needed. Right. But basically, so everyone at the same, just one of many co-agents. So there's no so intrinsic you know, seniority, Right. Distinction, hierarchy, or order there. So, so does this does this point to the idea of inclusion mm. and, and and diversity, where we should look at things as everything is equal? Mm, yes, and and maybe so. Now we can go on to the environmental issues, for example. And for me, good we is an open we, larger we. Mm -hmm. So that should include non-human. You know, animals, plants, mm -hmm. environment that can support my ride, bicycle riding. Mm -hmm. Right. I want to bring it back a little bit to, to technologies because we're a technology company, and we invent a lot of technologies. I know because I'm I'm now uh, collaborating with the researchers of NTT. Right. Many people, right. they are good people there, and one of the their you know quite near future ambition mm -hmm. is to introduce digital twin twin. To our society. Mm -hmm. So digital twins are one example. And as an example, okay, AI, mm -hmm. robot. And what are they? It's a sort of, of course, artificial personality. But it's another agent. And another agent. Yeah. So what is the relation between old agent, old person, human being, and those new emerging artificial persons? Mm -hmm. That's quite a big you know, challenge for our society, mm -hmm. here and outside, because that's quite a new phenomenon. Mm -hmm. That's a big issue. Mm -hmm. Now, here is a one standard Western idea now that is incubated, mm -hmm. and so or later might become sort of world standard. That is master uh, slave model, mm -hmm. or servant model. Human beings should always remain the master, mm -hmm. and the robot, or AI digital twin should be slave or a servant. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a good, bad idea. Mm -hmm. That is a, a typical example of eye-centeredness mm -hmm. of we. Right. I was going to say, what you're talking about is not, that sounds eye-centered, mm -hmm. but you don't mm -hmm. believe that that's mm -hmm. the way it should be. Yes. What do you believe? OK, so ferocity. Mm -hmm. right. And an important start, thing that to treat robot or digital twin as a pharaoh doesn't undermine my dignity. Hmm. My dignity is not you know, single person dignity. That's the dignity of a member of we. That's the basic idea of a self as we. We just talked about. So of course now that makes sense from a self as we, uh, a robot or an AI mm -hmm. 
agent is, is equal because they're part of the yes. self as we. Yes. But here's the big question. How do you trust mm -hmm. that technology? Yes, but that's a universal problem. Mm -hmm. How do we trust many agents in right. the world, my parent, my child, right. without a guarantee? Of course, we should make every effort mm. to guarantee that. And that is a sort of a duty or task mm. for every industry or producer. But that's the point, is that we have to build a, a, a system or a, a belief in our technology to make sure that we can trust that mm. robot. Uh, but as we know, technology can also be used for bad things. And so we, as an industry, have to make sure yes. that we regulate ourselves. Of course. Otherwise, of course. we could cause a lot yes. of problems. I know, I know there are many dilemmas, many difficult issues to be solved yet. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So is that going to be your next book? Yes. <laughs> should be. It should be. It should be. <laughs> Um, well, in closing, I just want to thank Professor Deguchi for his time and his thoughts. I think the ideas that he's proposing is something we should all consider and take to heart and understand how we as NTT and the technology company that's leading the world in, in innovation and R&D consider um, the ethics and the morality of the self as we model, because I think if we do that properly, uh, I think we will be better off as a company, society will be better off for the future. So uh, thank you, Professor Deguchi. Thank you. You've been very kind to share your time with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.